Hey everyone, it's Lethal Logica X, and welcome back to a tremendously overdue video. So I will be releasing this video in tandem with another video explaining where the heck I've been and what's going on with my channel, but for now let's get back into some lock sport. So I was given this multi-lock by my good friend, the Midnight Philobiker, and I've been kind of working on this lock here and there in my free time, and I think I'm ready to finally get it on video. So, let's get some tension on there. Um, this is using the Black Flag set from Sparrows. Uh, I've modified this pick slightly just to thin out the flag a little bit. I find that helps a lot with the inner pins. And let's get to picking. So, we get a little click on outer number one first. Uh, outer number two goes all the way up, and we get a nice false set out of that. Uh, there's the outer on number three. Uh, I think that was number four. I'm not sure I might have overset him. Got a good click on outer number five. Uh, click on inner number one. Oops. Yeah! Oh, there's another good click. We dropped into a much deeper false set. Felt some binding on number one again, but I think I overset him. We'll try that again. There we go. That felt much better. Um, I think that's, yeah, that was counter rotation on three. Um, hmm. Running out of binders here. This is typically the part where I start to get stuck on this, and it's kind of just random prodding until I figure out which one I have to pick next. Oh, there we go. I tapped either inner or outer on number two, and fell into a much deeper false set. Oh, there we go. I think that was inner on number five. Now we are in a super deep falset. I wonder if it's number two now. Uh, usually once you get to this super deep falset, then the uh, inner driver pins start to interface with the inner driver pins. Outer key pins, inner driver pins, I believe. And that can really mess up your, your kind of feedback. Hmm. 
you know, I have no idea what I'm stuck on. Oh, oh, it was the outer on pin two. Okay, I just had to lift that a little bit higher. There we go. We got that all picked. And now let's get this apart. So I actually do not have a key for this. So we will have to leave it in the picked state. Um, I think that's my follower. Uh, so we turn this to 45 degrees and make sure our key pins aren't going to fall out. Excellent. There's one, two, three, four, and five. Let's see if we can get these guys a little bit arranged here. driver pins out. First one is spooled. Second one has gone flying. It is standard. The springs are all exactly the same. Number five is spooled. And number four is spooled. All right. Uh, so there's all of our pins. You can see these guys all have serrations on them. Some of them have like torpedoing. And then driver pins one, three, four, and five are all spooled with two being standard. We have our typical zero cut pin in slot number two that's meant to interface with the interactive element. And other than that, I don't think there's too much interesting going on. Here's the core, in case you've never seen a multi-lock core before. It's got a bunch of grooves around it, not sure why. And then that would be the interactive element right there. Do 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 do. <laughs> All right, uh, so that's all I have on this super awesome multi-lock. Thank you to the Midnight Flopiker for gifting this to me. And if you like what you saw, don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And don't forget to have a good one.